Hold on one moment. Hey everybody, it's Cray, welcome to the stream. So, I thought I'd do something new for this stream. I hope things work out anyway. Okay, give me one second, I forgot to fix something. We're good though. But I wanted to do something like a retro game, something I haven't played in a long time, something that I've kind of really liked. Like, this is probably not the most popular game. It's a good game, but still very, very... I don't know if it's well known or not, actually. Also, hi there, welcome to Stream Zachary, good to see you. But yeah, I remember finding out about this, like... I guess it was 10-ish years ago, maybe five. Anyway, I got this at like a game exchange, like a store that sells like older games, and I found this and I was like intrigued by it. I tried it out and after I tried it, I bought it. It was a lot of fun. And I ended up, up liking it a ton. I figured it'd be like a really fun stream game. Like I haven't played it in forever, but I've been playing Pokemon a lot anyway, and this is like, a, even though it's not the same experience, this is like almost as good. All right, let's start reading now. So this is Dr. Mason. This is basically this game's equivalent of Oak. You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card games? So you too finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try to practice and at the practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck, and now you need an opponent. Sam. Play with them for a while. Yes, Dr. Mason. Hello, Cree. Okay, let's give it a try. Now, if I can say one particular thing about this game, it's that this tutorial kind of sucks. It's way too handholdy, and it forces you to, like, go through all these slow, slow steps. I think I've got enough memory to remember some of this stuff, but whatever. But yeah, it, it, you cannot speed this up. You have to go exactly as they tell you during the first battle, and there's no way to make it go faster besides doing what you're told to. So just bear through with me during this part. This is going to be a little bit... Tech Sam, Sam's practice deck, right. This is just practice, do not shuffle the deck. The player will draw seven cards. This is pretty basic once you get used to it. it. I don't know if this is like entirely how the actual card game is played, but this is like a really, really fun way to play. Pretty simple to understand too. You already heard about it. Choose your active Pokemon. Only choose basic Pokemon as your active Pokemon. So you can choose either Goldeen or Staryu. For a practice duel, choose Goldeen. Right. Here's Goldeen. May choose up to five basic Pokemon to place on the bench. Next, put your Pokemon on the bench. Switch so bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Again, only excuse me, base Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Choose Staryu from your hand and put it there. Right, so we place Staryu, and I think he's gonna ask me to put an energy on one of my Pokemon in a second. You have no Pokemon to put on your bench, press the B button to finish. Right, we only have two Pokemon. One will be top. Oh, this is. This may seem like something insignificant, and right now it kind of is, it's just determining who goes first, but the coin toss is like one of the most irritating parts of the game. It's like really good and really bad. Playing more in a sec. Use the attack command, you need to attach your yard to Pokemon. Choose cards from the menu and select a water energy. Choose hands from the menu. Choose the water energy card right. This is going to let us do all the steps and it takes a while. Larger card be attached to Goldeen. Attack your opponent by selecting command. Alright, simple stuff. And select horn attack from the menu. Got it. Like I was saying though, basically the coin toss is factored into a lot of attacks in this game. And I think there's some other stuff too, maybe like just basic cards, but like it's the big determining factor with at least a few of the attacks and it and like it can be like the determiner whether or not you get to attack a turn or whether or not you get hurt by a status ailment or you get stuck with like sleep and other such nuisances to say the least it can completely ruin a match to you seeking from your hand attached to Goldeen to evolve it which increases in 40 to 70 right 
not enough energy to use waterfall. Hey, Wayne, good to see you. Yeah, starting this game. This is a fun game. Attach a sock energy card to seeking. That, uh, which I think it's supposed to be colorless energy. Yeah, it means the energy card. Use waterfall. Water energy from the other Pokemon. Right. Your opponent with Seeking's Waterfall. Right, finally. Okay. What was I saying? I kind of got a little bit sidetracked by that. I was on the topic of the. Uh, talking about. Wait, did I already. What did you do? Ask me to. Oh, yeah, Psychic Energy. Shit, I'm distracted. But, yeah. I'm talking about coin toss in this game, and it sucks. It's not that great. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you didn't like the overlay I didn't set up. Well, if I remember what I was saying, I'll get back to that. To say the least, there's a lot of strategy in this game. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I was talking about the coin toss and why it's a pain in the ass. And I was going to say... You might think, oh, if you get screwed over by the coin toss, why don't you just reset? Well, the game has a countermeasure for that already. If you try to reset when you get a bad coin toss, every single time the coin toss will have the same result. Like, once the coin toss is determined, it's final. You can't overturn it. You just have to hope it doesn't screw you over. Oh, wait, shit. What I miss? Catch a water energy to star you. Okay. This is why I don't like this tutorial. Like, yeah, that's helpful. Sure, I should have put a, a water energy on my star you. But do you really need to fucking slow the match down just because I didn't do it? <laughs> It'd be a lot better if we didn't need to fucking do this. It's just because I'm not following these super handholdy instructions. Also, yeah. I agree with you, like, hey, this is great, or, I don't know if you're talking about something a little different, but like, I think this game deserves a modern sequel. There's actually, like, believe it or not, there's actually a sequel to this already. It was made on the Game Boy. It was only released in Japan, though, and the worst part is this was released, like, a long time ago, and... That game didn't even go past Gen 1. I don't know why they were still stuck in Gen 1, but whatever. Okay, what's the instructions again? Ah, I missed it. I just was too busy talking. Ugh. Like, this is the thing is, I... It, this may look bad. Okay, take the drives. Let me read this before I say anything. Take drives from my, your hand on your bench. Catch a water energy to drowsy. Okay, so I just need to put drowsy in here. And then we'll give him some energy. But yeah, this might look bad and like really handholdy right now, but it is like so much easier when you're in a real match and you can actually manage things. And it's a lot easier to like remember what you want to do and like it, go and place your energies and keep the stuff memorized. It's just an annoying tutorial where it forces you to take all these unnecessary steps usually comes naturally to me when I'm doing a battle in this. Although I haven't done in any of this game in like forever, so yeah. Okay, right, I have Staryu and Drowsy. Two Staryu's active Pokemon. Easy enough. Keep playing this. Strings and emulators. Uh, it's, it's mainly just because I don't really have a lot to pick from right now. Like, I was like thinking about what I wanted to play, there's some stuff. I got some new Joy-Cons I could have, like, went back to doing and something simple like setting up Nintendo Labo stuff and actually going back to doing the Joy-Con 03 stuff I hadn't finished, but I decided against that. I think I'm gonna do that soon, though. Wait, let me see. His attacks slap, right? Let me check my card. I think I want to I think I'm supposed to place one on Drowsy. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. Right. Like I was saying, though... Oh, shit, what did I... What did I miss this time? Oh! The dumbass. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that I'm supposed to evolve it. Right. 
Yeah, I there's not a lot to play right now. There's just like there's some cool looking indies, but I'm not really in the mood to try and stream one. It'd be fun. It's just the fact that I don't really uh, want to bother. I gets like there's not a lot of new games right now. Maybe it's just me. Like, like I I've, I've actually been getting into a lot of older stuff too, though. Like I'm sure if you guys have been paying attention to my Discord status, you've noticed that I've been kind of playing Sims 3 a little addictively lately. But that's not something I considered for streaming. On the other hand, I actually bought, like, Devil May Cry, like, the HD collection off of Steam. Ocean Hardener Hand or Hover Star HP. Why don't you start? Okay, just make sure I don't miss anything. But yeah, I, I don't want to stream in The Sims, so... That wasn't even an option. I also would like to do, like, Devil May Cry since I bought that and... The only thing is that my computer, like, most of you guys have probably already seen from, like, when I was doing the Halloween streams, I struggled to get good performance inside a lot of the games that I set up for PC capture, so I ended up giving up on it. Like, like I really, really would love to be able to stream PC games, and I probably can, but I'm not in the mood to troubleshoot all this crap right now. On the other hand, if I ever fix it, then yeah, we'll have like a ton, and the floodgates will be open to like a lot more games. Speaking of which, I guess I can talk about that a little more since I mentioned that I was going to play it. I've been like, it's nothing like hard to understand. I've just been like really, really craving something like Bayonetta lately on A to play, and I, I remembered like. Uh, just looking through a list, and the only thing I could find was like Devil May Cry, and I, I wasn't against playing it. This is the, uh, and I was hoping to play like a little bit of a one-off or something first, and then play it. And then it just came to like, you know, there's not going to be a better game. I might as well just play it and, it and see how fun it is. It doesn't help that there's like a ton of different uh, people streaming, but and excuse me. Devil May Cry 5 right now, and it looks really, really awesome. It's kind of got me interested in getting into it. So I'm starting to try to grow into Star Freeze. Okay, cool. We're done this long-ass tutorial, finally. Just gonna catch up on chat real quick. Hold on. Let me see. Do I have to do anything besides... I think I can just attack, and I'm done. Yeah, okay. Fair game in the last... That's Jen. Like... And I'm gonna come out of the stage, the picture. Obviously, Joy Cons, the colors, characters, and. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good Switch ports coming. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with what it's been. I'm kind of glad they're slowing it down, too, but, like. This year alone has done a lot of good. Like, the fact that they finally announced Mario Maker is coming to Switch is just great. I think. Even if you don't like Mario, most people can agree that that's only going to be a good thing. And talk to Sam, I'll be helpful to practice this again, too. This was just practice. But I had to follow everything I said, but there are other styles of play, so try them out by choosing a normal duel. Right, okay, now we get the fun of picking our starting deck. Now then, let's build your deck. Do you bring your cards? Cards to Dr. Mason. This is a really, really strange way to handle this now that I think about it. You give him three decks, and then he lets you keep one. Now, Cray, what kind of deck do you want? Select the deck you want. Okay, um, this is... I'm gonna try and go over this before I actually pick, but... Charmander, just like the normal game, is kind of a bit of a harder deck. I think it's, like, actually harder than just, like, Charmander's the hardest first-gen starter to use. Squirtle is actually different in this scenario because he's more of an easy mode. He's got quite a lot of good options to work with. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. And Bulbasaur is... He's got some interesting problems, but he's, like, really good, apparently. Yeah, I don't really have interest in using him, but, like, he gets a really strong solar beam when he becomes Venusaur. Or and you can use that, but there's a, another issue where Bulbasaur... Or not Bulbasaur, but more... Particularly, grass is not super effective against water in this game for some reason, so this deck is kind of not very good. And it's like, 
starter decks, at least when you have to fight your rival. Even, anyway, I'm gonna pick Charmander because I actually picked it first in this game and I actually have the most interest in playing with this one. It's a fun deck. So yeah, Charmander and Friends. Okay, Charmander and Friends deck. Here are their main cards. Cool. Should duel with many different people. Should you go to one of the card clubs? There are many people playing at the clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. That's basically the big goal of this game, too, actually. Let me see. I'm gonna talk to people, but yeah. Your goal is, more than anything, you continually keep talking and battling with people. You want to continuously, like, keep collecting cards and, like, forming your deck. Because no deck you get is ever going to be perfect. So you want to mold your deck and try to make, like, all the adjustments that you see fit. And try to make sure you don't have any weaknesses that are just glaringly obvious in your deck. The more he battles you win, the more cards you get to put in your deck. I'm sure you know, there are eight clubs fighting water. Lightning, Grass, Psychic, Fire, Rock, and Science Clubs. So we'll read up on this too. And clubs use cards that are specific to that club. Be a club member, you'll receive a booster pack. Booster pack is 10 cards. Cards differ depending on the booster pack you receive. And depending on who you duel, so your friends. And choose your friends well. Right. Let me read this really quick and then I can check up. I haven't inherited the legendary for one cards. Legendary cards, you must defeat the Grand Masters. To duel the Grand Masters, you must first get Master Medals. They eight Master of the Card Clubs, each have a Master Medal. The other Pokemon Domes, you want to learn more about the Legendary Cards. Right. Do you have any tips? Um, yeah, the one thing I recommend in Master Mode is actually, more than anything, go after getting Shrines first and getting and your health upgraded. Like, Get yourself to 13 and then get the... Master Sword. Oh, I didn't actually mean to come in here, but I might as well talk to them while I'm here. Isn't the auto deck machine great? That's that machine over in the left corner, if you didn't notice. Anyway. As long as you have the necessary cards, this machine will automatically build a deck for you. Right, let's talk to you. Oh ho, won't you duel me to test your deck? Yeah, and I'll give you a booster pack, but only in its energy cards. Uh, you know, even though that's kind of a crappy reward, why not? It's, you want stamina, the problem is that, well actually, this is a tough one to answer. What I would, what I would say is, wait, how many upgrades does it take to get the wheel? On like a third wheel. Well, actually what, I'm, what I'd say is probably upgrade all the way to like your first stamina wheel then and keep getting hearts, but also like, excuse me, I'm just gonna actually play. Hold on a second, uh, you know, let's do the... Let's try the water and see if we can beat it with a Charmander deck. Whoops, that wasn't what I meant to do. Anyway, yeah, uh, you want to get some stamina. The way I handle it is you can do it in, like, moderation. And so, basically, hey, what you're, you want to do is you're going to, like, hey, grab hey, stamina first and get, like, a full wheel just for the sake of convenience so that you don't have to, like, struggle to climb all the time. Then afterwards, shift your immediate focus over to like your hearts. Don't upgrade any more on stamina after you get all your hearts. Get yourself to 13 like as fast as you possibly can. Like, and also on top of that, it, keep an eye on like, okay, let's, let me see this real quick before I say anything else. Uh, Ratatata, Magnemite, Meow. Uh, let's put in, let's see. How about Meowth? Yeah. But yeah, you want to, then like, eyeball the stamina meter as you go along and try to decide, like, a, a, when you have enough that you can go and exchange it at that devil statue, and then you can use that in order to and make, make sure you get, like, all your hearts. You don't want to do too many shrines and make it hard on yourself, so you want to, like, constantly be, be watching it. I, then, after, there's, like, what, like, what I did, it's not necessary. I would recommend and, and that you go and, oh, shit, I forgot to attach an energy. I wasn't paying attention. I'm too busy blat. I said, not I'm saying, I didn't even get my turn yet. Excuse me. Like I was saying, 
And I would recommend like going and actually doing the trial of Master Sword like the exact second you get your hand on. Wait, hold on, check, let's check our play and check our player area. Yeah, but yeah. I would say like go and do the challenge engine get like done with the trial of Master Sword as fast as possible. That way. You can actually get it, your sword stronger, and then go uh, like exchange some of your your hearts back for another meter. Yeah, you're gonna want to avoid battles. That's the thing is, it's not easy to like. It's hard to make things work in master mode. You just have to be a crafty about how you handle everything. Hold on, let me check my hand switch. We can switch right now, but no. Anyway, yeah, you gotta be you gotta be careful. Like, don't battle too much, but you want to constantly. And if you have to battle, battle them, and don't charge into a battle if you have to pick a fight either. Like, you want to be very very stealthy, even against the Koblenz, So you'll like like want to make sure you can like look for opportunities to like either sneak stab or or go up and try to and trick them and or not trick them and get. Yeah, you can trick them and you can, like, distract them and, like, hit them with an explosion. I would even go as far as to say to, like, actually use ancient arrows on them from, like, time to time. Because even though that's a waste at the same time, the Koblins are, like, ten times more threatening in Master Mode than they are in the Normal Mode. Everything kills you, like, way faster, so you don't want to screw around when you're fighting enemies. That said, yeah, avoid conflict at all costs. You don't want to and avoid it too much. Like, if you have to do a combat trial, just suck it up and try to beat the trial anyway. God, I'm getting a crap hand right now. I'm not getting any, any energy at all. <laughs> Why is the game, like, not giving me any energy to attach to my meow? I need more to make something work. Oh my god, are you serious? I just had meow die because I didn't have any way to actually attack anything. Eight or get uh, rubies. Mine stuff. If you have like use your bombs, use use like weapons specifically meant to n grab stuff. Like uh, use the cobble smasher and stuff. Like smash up rocks and like get. Ooh, that's good. But we don't have any reason to use that right now. Flare. Uh, I need more energy though. Sh uh, should I use this? I don't know. Hold on. Let's check this thing. Oh, that's good, but if we use it now, we can't attack anybody. So, yeah, you want to, like, go up and smash uh, some, like, mine stuff, and then you can, like, get the stuff you need. You just need to get your hands on and, like, different minerals. It's not easy playing Master Mode. You learn a lot of stuff about what you need to do in Master Mode the more you play. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Why am I getting like zero Ooh, energy cards? I need some fire energy to attach to stuff. Let me see my player here really quick. So I got a Magnemite, a Ratatat, and a Ponyta. Um, good switch. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll switch. We're not... I don't want to lose Growlithe. He's actually valuable right now. I haven't had too many matches play out like this. I think it's because I'm still, like, in the beginning phases right now, and I don't have, have access to a lot of cards. I'm going to put in a fodder Pokemon at the moment. You know what, that was a really bad move now that I think about it, because now I'm basically a dead shit. I could get Raticate if I even have it, but I don't want to chance it. Right, you Arcanine. Because that's going to give him another prize. Fuck, I just shot myself in the foot there. He's the, yeah, rip Ratatat, I made a dumb move. 
<laughs> this is not how I expected this to start off. Okay, how about we put Ponyta in, I guess? I don't have any real movement options right now. What is this fucking joke of a fucking hand right now? Okay, let's use the computer search. I'm just getting shit card after shit card. Wait, oh no, no, no. Oh my god, retreat. We gotta restart this. Wait... Can I forfeit this? I fucked up really hard here. God damn it. I... Oh, this is... This match has just gone so wrong. I... It couldn't get anything to actually... He helped my Pokemon, like, energy cards. I ac accidentally discarded, like, one of my good cards. I'm just getting... And completely fucked over, or, like, every turn. If I could draw some energy, I might be able to do something. Holy shit, a Zapdos card. I wonder how good it is. Oh, it needs four thunders to even be useful. This, I'm, I've legitimately never had a moment like this in this game. I actually don't have a single energy card to work with. What the fuck? Just kill me, I can't fight you without energy. I'm not even going to bother placing anything. I'm so fucked over by this. I think part of it is that I need... I'm going to have to go battle people and get more... Or energy cards. I think I'm low on fire energy. For some reason. Which is fucking completely bizarre. I don't recall having this issue before. Like... Why give the player a card with so little to work with? Or card and deck so little to work with. Okay, yeah, let's come back to that guy in a little bit. Let's do one of these clubs. We'll do the grass club since that's actually something that I can beat. Well, getting the grass metal wasn't that hard. Keep this up, I should be able to get the legendary Pokemon cards. What? It's you, Craig. What are you doing here? I barely even know this guy, but whatever. This is the rival of the game. That's a deck. Are you trying to get the legendary Pokemon cards? Uh, yeah. Where are those head horsemen? What are you talking about? The Great Plato? Oh, the Great Plains. Let me laugh. Alright, listen, I'll lead you out to that. The Pokemon cards, you must defeat the eight club magic of the eight mass, and you have to go to the Pokemon Dome. This is basically the Elite Four of this game. Beat all four of the Grand Masters there. No way you can do it. Might as well just give up and go home. The legendary Pokemon cards are gonna be mine. I already won the first medal. This guy's such a loser. See you, Craig. <laughs> He makes Gary look cool. Like, he brags so much, and he's not even that great of a unravel. Okay, let's battle. I really, really need more Pokemon and more energy cards to work with, because I have, like, barely anything. Here are the plants. Er. Yes, we want a duel. I didn't come here to look after your garden. Alright, here we go. This will hopefully go much better than the last duel. I'm gonna have to look at my deck too and like check my energy cards after this. Let's see. Machop. Ponyta, meow. Let's put Machop in first. Yeah, this is a good game. It's not easy, but it's really good and a lot of fun. Play, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and start. I think I can get this. This doesn't seem like too hard of a duel. I think it's meant that battle I did was meant to be when you're a little more experienced first anyway. I don't recall doing that when I like started did this side and started this the first time before, so that's probably why I'm my ass kicked so it's not meant to be an easy fight. <laughs> probably meant to be very hard. Wait, hold on. Let's actually do something really quick. Let's get some more cards. A Professor Oak card. There we go. Nice. Hand to seven. This is dated. Yeah. Well, this isn't... I guess this is dated. I don't think about it. This is an old Game Boy game. It doesn't bother me too much. Itch, though. Alright, we're making steady progress. It's going a lot better. I've already got enough to actually 
to work with right now. Really not even going to fight back? Do you not get any energy? Oh well. I already got one card down. I don't think she has a Pokemon on her bench, so this means that's the case. She's already lost. We'll see you in a second. She might have one. Oh, her mind right. Actually, how do I look? I just have to look via the, the menu. Charge the deck. Cool. Brass energy. Okay. That'll be for Growlithe to take care of. I can actually get some fire. Part of the deck. What do we got now? Ooh, that's good. Oh, wait, when did you ask that? Oh, about Doom 2016. I'd say, yeah, I played like quite a bit of it and like really, really enjoyed what I played. Whoops, that's right, I can only do one at a time. Put you in... Hold on, let's check some other stuff. I've, I've only played the multiplayer. I need to do the single player. I've been meaning to do it on stream. All right, let's check our player area. Checking for what kind of energy they need. Growlithe only needs one. Let me check. Who's got what attached? I can't check right now. Try to wait until I get to the next thing. Or I can probably check, but I don't remember how. So I'll have to wait. I can do it next turn. And see what I need to detach. Tangle level eight on the bench. I haven't played it in a while. I'm not sure if the multiplayer is active, but. Everybody praises Doom 2016 for its single player, so if nothing else, it should be worth it for single player. I need to sh stream that. That's something I've been meaning to stream for so long, and I always keep forgetting. So maybe and that'll happen in the near future. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. The energy we got. We got a fire. Let's check our Pokemon and see what we need again. He's got double colorless, meaning that it can be anything. Ponyta needs one more. Growlithe needs one. I don't think Growlithe has anything on him yet, though. Let me see. Let's check. You know what? Yeah, let's build Ponyta up to attack. This guy looks awesome. Yeah, Doom 2016 is awesome. It's worth it, I'd say. Really good game. Ooh, we can put Magnemite. We do have Magnemite. Do we have Magnemite in the player yet? I don't remember. I want to see. No, he's not. We'll put him in there because that's a free evolution. That means we can set up a Magneton like right away. Okay, we'll just sit here and wait until the paralysis runs off. That's one thing I hate about the coin toss is when you get it fucking stun locked to death by the fucking coin toss. Please don't. Okay, good. Like, this is... I'm, I honestly don't know if this or... Nah, this is... I would love to be running this my SNES class. I didn't actually bother to. I did this on my computer. A Zapdos card already. Alright. Fuck it. Put Zapdos in. And... This is running on that. Yeah, I could probably get it running on my SNES if I tried, but eh. Okay, let me read up on what I need to see really quick. I want to know how much I need to put on Magnemite and Magneton. So, one electric will start off good. And we can look at what Magneton's got to check. He needs two, which is pretty manageable. Alright, seems fair. Play. And we'll give Magnemite one right now. There we go. Low kick. I would love to see how this would... Honestly, I would love to see how this would go with, like, multiplayer. Like, I know there's technically a, a already, like, an online version of the trading card game, but this is... And I, I don't know, this has interesting way of playing, and I think it's a little different, like... Like, I could see this, like, it being a really, really fun experience online, and it's also uh, really unique, too. Like, I haven't played 
anything quite like this, and it's very strategic. Like, it's yet to be strategic in the normal Pokemon games, but in this, I feel like I'm constantly thinking my next move out even more than that. Like, I have to be ready and know what I want to do. There we go. We're getting that uh, set up ready and nice and juicy so they can get smacked in the face by a Magneton. Grass energy, huh? Stuns oh my god. If I get paralyzed again, thank god, that's annoying as fuck. Switch, um, let's see, what do we want to do now? Hmm. Let's check on our... wait. Oh shit, I just realized, I wasn't even thinking. Check. We don't have enough to attack, it's the only problem. I could probably get a Machamp too if I'm searching, but I've made Fighting Energy, so... Computer Search. Let's get one Fighting Energy. Um, I don't even have a Diglett out, so no Doug Trio. Sorry Magmar, you're not going to be active this round. There we go. Fighting energy. There we go, good. We just need enough to make this actually useful. Oh, this is too beautiful. Like, the moment she's about to kill it, I get the option to evolve it. That's great. Game handed me, like, a freebie there. I can't attack it, though. That's the only lame part, is I need another turn to attach another energy. Ugh. That's too good. This game is, and like, this is great when you get like good, good a good hand and nothing gets screwed up. Oh, uh, I know what happened when I was, maybe I don't know, I was gonna say I thought I knew what happened when I was fighting that assistant. I was gonna say I think that maybe he ended up uh, telling me not to shuffle the deck and it messed with my cards, but that, I don't know if that was what happened or not. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let me check something really quick. I don't need any more electric energy on him. That's what I, one thing I just wanted to check. I need three on Zapdos. Um, hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just put it on Macho Ook instead and get Macho Ook ready to attack the second he's better. Switch. Um, yeah, I'll switch. That way we don't have to worry about him dying yet. If we get one or two more, we'll get it enough to actually attack, too. Hmm. Nothing. Okay, whatever. We'll end the turn. It's going well. The only thing I'm saying it's a little bit bad about this is that it, the game progresses a little slowly. Like, you can see how slowly these matches are moving and like, like if this would speed up a little bit I could it'd get a lot more done I want to beat at least one of these clubs before I get done oh let me check this again yeah we just need colorless all right play okay that's much better thunder wave I don't care if I get a browse it's gonna die if I hit it there we go any games you guys want to see? I've talked about some stuff I was going to stream anyway. I think Contra is going to be the next big game I'm going to do. I've been mean to do it anyway, so why not? Actually, I didn't have like, a lot of stuff I want to do when I get that NES, that uh, modded NES stream up. That's, actually, I think it's going to be tomorrow, even. Or actually, no, I was going to say maybe not tomorrow. Yeah, but I've like, I was actually not sure if I wanted to do that or not, because I've been like bouncing back and forth between, and say, doing, doing the NES games on Switch, I need to finish, and doing the modded stuff. Okay, I'm about to have it die on me. Do I have any cards that I can do? Okay, I can do that. Hold on. Self destruct. And I could heal the poison, but is that going to be even worth it? It'll probably kill me, so... 
better to just take the loss and have it blow up. A 3DS. I don't. I thought about setting up the 3DS, and it's too much trouble to actually get it to work. I would like to, but it's a pain in the ass. Like I, uh, it's just not worth all the trouble, and I don't want to buy a capture card. Hold on, where's my phone at? Okay, I know. Let me pause this for just a second. Or I'll let this keep playing until this is done. I'm just gonna let it, like, hang up. Up and let them get the voicemail. If they want to talk to me, they can talk to me later. Shit, I forgot about the whole thing about it harming my Pokemon, too. Inside of just harming the one here. Okay, now I can... Never mind, it stopped. Thank God. I was gonna say, I really wish I didn't always get calls so commonly. Right, she took one of mine, but I think we're pretty much the point where we're almost won. Hmm, let's put Ponyta in, I guess. Yeah. I put myself in a bit of a shitty position there, but not that bad. We've already got enough to win. Oh no, we're gonna win this. We're fine. Not until she did that, that is. Wait, what? Why did she get to attack? We both only just now put our Pokemon in. Are you fucking serious? This full heal better work. Or when I use it, because otherwise it's going to be completely useless. Yeah, give me a Charizard that I can't even use right now, why don't you? There we go, okay, good. Let's check our thing and see how many Pokemon we have to defeat really quick. Whoops, wrong thing. We need to check ours and it'll tell us the prizes. Okay, we got one more left. That's not that bad. Wonder if Machop would have been strong enough to kill it in one hit. Not that it matters, it's too late for that. There's actually a lot of stuff I'd love to stream I'm on 3DS, but getting a capture card is kind of a pain and hopefully Citra will get an update one day where we make it like easier to like stream stuff off of that. That'd be a good way to do it then. Like I would love to stream that. There's a lot of good games on 3DS. Like, if I can pick any, I think at the very least I'd probably want to stream, say, a 3D Land and also stream in Kid Icarus Uprising. Probably a little bit of Mario Kart 7, too. Karate Chop, we've won. It's over. I don't even need to put any more energy on. Wait, what? It didn't kill? What the fuck just happened? I... Oh my god. I feel like I got cheated there for, or now I'm gonna lose my Machoke because I wasn't paying attention. That was my fault, shit. Overconfidence got me there. Uh. Can I not, can I look at my energy cards? That'd be nice. Well, I can probably retreat if I'm forced to. Got a Pikachu, but that won't help any. Fire. Wait, what's Zapdos' stuff again? I need a better Pokemon to work with. Shit, I'm... I really should have paid more attention to the... And, like, like what I was doing with Machoke. Because I was half-assing it and not paying attention that I lost him. Play area. Zapdos. He needs three Thunder Energies to be useful shit. I don't remember... I think this only does ten. I might be able to survive. What does this plus power thing do again? Let's play this first. I think it just buffs the attack a little bit. Ooh, I made a dumb move there. I I could have had this over with if I had read the move description. Oh no, please don't paralyze. Yeah, I know it said I did zero. That was my own fault. I wasn't looking and I should have been. If I get killed by being licked to death, I'm going to be very, very angry with you, game. Okay, Growlithe can attack next turn, but that's not really helping any. I gotta do something. 
If I had Arcanine, I could save it from death without an issue, or a potion even. Please don't paralyze, please don't paralyze me this time. Why? I'm getting fucking murdered by paralysis right now. Uh, hand. Let me check what I can do. I might be able to get, like, energy built up to my pony toss somehow. Oops, wrong thing. Flame tail, smash kick. I can, I can get the smash kick if I had another thing to work with. Oops, shit, right. You know what? Fuck it. We need to put something... I might as well put it on and put Ponyta down and put if the fighting on it. Because if we don't do something, we're going to be fucking screwed because I, I didn't read close enough. I know I can kill that Lickitung. I just need to have my a growl if they will actually fight back a little bit. Please, game. Be merciful. Just hand me a fucking energy card so I can attack with Pony Tob. I'm gonna have to pull Growlithe out so I don't lose. Please, one of these has to be an energy. Oh, thank Lord. Are you? Oh yeah, right, I got full heal. I would have been fucked without that full heal, honestly. Oh, talk about some seriously good luck. You can, but I mean, I can't stream it on VC. I, would, I wouldn't mind if I actually had the option to, but still. That was close. That was way too close for comfort. I think we've won. Yeah, we got him. He's done. I mean, I bought this game a long time ago on Game Boy, so I'd still say I'd paid them, but I mean... I don't know. It's kind of hard to argue against them. Since I'd, technically, I am... And playing this on emulation, I didn't pay for it, but I, uh, I mean, I would probably buy this game if it was available on Switch or whatever. I've actually liked this enough that I'd pay for it if I had a better way to stream it. <sighs> Another turn where I'm fucked over by Paralysis, and the only reason this match isn't over is because of this stupid stall to Silicaton. Okay, we've got it now. That's finally over. Good God, okay. Shit. I'm gonna have to be more careful now and actually, like, read the description of the attacks where I actually go off and do something stupid next time. Yeah, I know they won't bother. Emulation's, like, one of the least harmful things you can do. That went from a match that should have been stupid easy to a match that, should have been, that was, like, stupid hard because I wasn't being smart. Booster pack, what do we get? Jolteon, War Turtle, Rapidash. Ooh, that one's good. The Rapidash will come in handy. Probably get some good use out of that, too. Alright, another booster. What do we get in this one? Pidgeot, Haunter, War Turtle. So these aren't bad, but I mean, I don't have any use for any of these guys. I maybe the, the Sand True. Nurture deck for a basic energy garden with your hand. That needs to be in the deck, though. Alright, let's look at our deck and mold some of this, actually. Modify. Alright, we have Bulbasaurs. How do I do this again? Oh, that's right, I can do it like that. Um, let's check our cards here. 
potion, full heal, um... This is a tough choice. What about electric? We're gonna put it away. I think let's say Zapdos is gonna go bye-bye. Remember how the hell this works again. How do I add them to my deck? It's been okay, that's how that works. It's been so long that I forgot how this uh, to do this. Uh you know what? Sorry, Pikachu, you're gonna be out. Same with you, Raichu. I wanna make room for Pokemon that I'm actually gonna use. to put one in for that. Actually, we can probably make room for another Ivysaur. Or we'll just do one of each. That way we won't be doing too many. Let's see what else is in here. Not bad so far. All right, let's see. I think I got some new stuff. Yes, Rapidash. There we go. Uh, let's see. What useless Pokemon can I not get much out of right now? So I'm digging through because I can't. It's kind of hard to figure out what to use. And also, yeah, you're totally right about the uh, Switch and better retro support. Yeah, uh, uh, the whole Nintendo ROM situation is kind of lame. They've been like really, really making it hard to air on like people who run those kind of sites. I mean, yeah, it's. Technically illegal, but I think the game preservation argument and it's like stands its ground. It's some of these games were only available via emulators, and by killing off like emulation, you're killing off some of these games permanently. Uh, let's see. We need to drop some grass synergies in for the Ivysaur, and we've got lightning and fighting, which is something we need. That's good. Let's go check our deck. We need to see what can be dropped out of here. You know, we don't need two Rattatas. That's an immediate no. Let's see. I'm going to say goodbye to one Diglett as well. Takes a while to, like, format your deck right. Uh... Maybe I should drop some energy cards and get like a little. Well, this is a tough choice. You know what? I don't want to keep the Raticate and Meow and whatnot. I want to make room for more stuff. That way, I'll get more to supply for my Bulbasaur, Ibisaur. There we go. That's a decent chunk, and that actually helps my deck quite a bit. All right, let's save this. I don't have to re-mold the deck again. All right, next battle. Master Nikki is not right now. Where'd she go? That's a secret. Hmm, let me see. You defeat three members of the Grass Cult. Tell her who she is. How about it? Would you like to duel with Heather? Yeah, let's do it. Price right, is okay. Let's begin. I think I can handle this. I'm going to read extra careful this time. Although I won't mind if anybody wants to point out and help me if I make a stupid mistake. <laughs> Are you serious? You didn't draw any Pokemon? Really? We have to do this? Okay. There we go. The, like, the odds of that happening are pretty low. Although I've seen it happen quite a few times. Let's see. All I've got is Machop, but I mean, that's all I really need right now anyway. But I do need, like, a backup Pokemon, so we're gonna have to get something happening. Uh, we don't have any bench Pokemon, so that can't happen. She doesn't have any either, apparently, though. So, I mean, it's basically whoever kills first. <laughs> Mon heads... Ah, whatever. Not first this time. I'm bad at these coin toss events. She went through pretty much the same strategy I was going to. Ditto. Okay, well. 
What attack does this thing have? Oh, uh, you gotta- this thing decided to make itself of resist me. Lovely. Start building. Get some extra. Need another Pokemon. Lightning energy. Grass energy. God damn it. Can I still use the oak card right now? Yeah, okay, there we go. We need more cards. <sighs> what did I get? Okay, oh sweet. They got a lot now. Let's see. Charmander. Play. Growlithe. Play. And we'll start by putting... Oh, actually, we need what again? We need one of those to make sure we can attack. Alright. Can't attack right now, which is a little bit lame. I don't know if I had a... Fighting, oh, yeah, I think I did have Fighting Energy shit. I should have been looking to see any of the Energy cards. Oh, well. Can she only, like, convert right now? That's actually really bad for her. And really, really good for me. Grass Energy. Go. Alright, let's check on... Charmander's attacks. He can do a Scratch or an Ember, but he doesn't have enough to use either one. Done. Conversion to... You realize that if I don't attack, it's completely useless, don't you? Oh my god. What is it with this game and, like, loving to just give me these crap hands? Player, all right. Let me check this again. Do I even have anything on on Charmander at all? No, all right, yeah, I do. Let me check this one extra time. He's got a fire energy, meaning if I give him another one, he can attack. There we go. Should be good. What in the fuck is she doing right now? She's placing dittos right on the bench. I'm so confused. Oh, if only I had that Charmeleon, but I mean, oh well. There we go. Now I can actually switch. Finally. Wait, what? Why does he have to sacrifice anything? Hold on, how do I... Check. Charmander. How do I look at his attacks? Glossary? No. I don't remember. I know there's a way you can look. Oh, well. What if we just do a normal attack? Okay. I, oh, that's right. Now I remember. You burn off... I think you burn energy when you use Ember or for some reason, which is fucking really dumb, but whatever. What's she planning? Oh, just a pound. Arcanine. Uh, let me see my... Player again. Yep, we have enough to make it work. We don't have any energy, I'm pretty sure. Not really much I can do then. Oh my, how did I forget the attack? Shit, I wasn't thinking. God damn it. Need more cards, jeez, I don't have enough energy. Fire energy, okay, good. Need to check on Growlithe and Arcanine's attacks. Arcanine's attack. Check. Needs two fire attacks for anything.
Alright, let's attack again with another scratch. I don't think I'm gonna evolve this one. I think this Charmander's gonna die. So yeah, I hope this game gets a sequel in the future. This is a good game. A shame it never did. Like, I, I'm really fond of this, and I wish we got a game where we could have, like... I don't know if I want to play that or not. Yeah, I want to see another take on this and see how it goes. We get a game where we get more Pokemon get, like, new types and see what they did. Like, they were pretty restrictive in what they picked, even for their, like, Gen 1s and stuff. Like, there's not a lot of different types in this. Probably should have just killed it. I don't know what its attack is. Oh, never mind, it's just a conversion. It's not going to be able to do anything then. It's just a strategy of stall and waste my time. Still need more energy, though. I'd like to get it ready to evolve. <sighs> uh, let's see, what, what's good to talk about right now? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen there's a, a Mar and there's like a March 10th sale, like a Mario Day sale going on recently. That looked like really neat. I didn't end up buying anything out of it, though. I didn't think it looked like it'd be necessary or there's anything too interesting. Like the mo and there is mostly stuff like Mario Party and whatnot. Stuff that all... Uh, it, was just, it looks good, but... What? Are you? It doesn't receive any damage? I thought it was supposed to receive lower damage. God damn it. This is a bunch of older Mario games. Nothing like Mario Maker 2 you could use on it, which is a little lame, but eh. Wish this. I wish I had thought about that sooner and done some stuff. I and like I there's some apparently New Super Mario Brothers U is on sale for like forty, which isn't bad, but it's not really yet big of a deal. Let's see, yeah, we're gonna play it now. Still have a problem though. We don't have any attack power at the moment. We can't harm it. That is some pure bullshit there. Remember the only reason I can't kill this thing is because of the top. Play... Much up. Right, we're gonna switch and try to kill it now then. We got time. There we go, finally. God, what a pain. Yeah. There's not been a lot of buzz lately. I guess there's been some stuff. I've I've actually been considering like playing Fortnite again, not really too interested, and I got burned out during season six. Ended up getting too angry from losing too much and just stop wanting to play. Now there's like a big, big new Battle Royale around now, that Apex Legends game that everybody talks about, and that's that seems cool, so. Kind of interested, not interested enough that I'd, I think I want to play it, but that's been around for a few months. Oh, perfect. Now I can play this and get Arcanine fully built. Yeah, I'd, even though there's a ton of new games, I just feel like I struggle to talk about anything important. I don't know. Next, and the next two weeks or so will be fun because really, really soon there's going to be Yoshi's this crafted world, that looks like that'll be great. I'm not in I don't recall if I've said this on stream earlier or not. If I did, my bad. I 
I don't intend to buy the Labo VR set before anyone asks, so... Yeah, that's not going to be streamed. It doesn't look bad, just not interesting enough that I care. That, I don't know, maybe I need to see the games if there's anything better. Or maybe, but I mean, I haven't even seen the games at all yet. Gee, right before I could do anything. Great. How many prizes are left anyway, because I need to do something soon. He's dead. Probably. I don't know. I don't mind. He's still going to live for another turn. Check the play area. Got her down, or she's got two left, and I've got four, but. Hmm. I just have to kill at least two. Bulbasaur. What's Bulbasaur's? I need to check Bulbasaur's attacks again. I need at least one more to get at a Leech Seed. I got a bunch of cards I can play. Hmm, tough decision. Let's put in the Magnemite then. The next move isn't going to go well no matter what, because I have to put in, like, the only choice to put in a fire Pokemon so I can have an attack it right now. I don't have enough if energy to actually work with my Magneton, or Magnemite to actually harm it. Rip. Lightning. I guess there is one thing I've been like thinking about that I haven't talked about too much, and that's the fact that that I'm like interested in a lot of the stuff that if there hasn't been like any news on like Switch games we heard about, like say Luigi's Mansion and, and Animal Crossing. We know those are coming. We just don't know literally anything about them. Same with Bayonetta three. That's like the thing that's like really been on my mind. I'm really, really intrigued, like, and mostly by Bayonetta 3 right now. I wanted to see more of it. I enjoyed what I played. I liked the first two a ton. So I'm looking forward to that. And when it's finally get an announcement, we can finally do something. Like, I've been unhappy about it ever since that announcement happened. Hopefully we see, like, another Direct for long we can see, like, more on some of these games. That'd be great. Animal Crossing, I haven't... is an interesting one, though. I haven't played Animal Crossing in, like, quite some time. Like, at the last time I remember... Or playing... Let's see, what do we got here before we continue that? Pinsir Nerino, Seal, Raticate, Diglett, Pikachu, Meowth. Nothing great so far. Abra might be neat. Yeah. Uh, Animal Crossing I'm interested in purely because I haven't played one of them in that uh, recent mobile game didn't really have much effect on me. I wasn't really too interested in it. It looks good. Maybe we'll see about adding him to the deck in a little bit. Got some better cards from this one. But yeah. I've always enjoyed Animal Crossing. Unfortunately, it's always been like a cycle of like I play a little bit and then I get bored of it and then I put it down and stop playing but I think everybody pretty much experiences that with it all right there's supposed to be one more person here I can battle cool I need flowers be the one I have this hard work let me rest for a while grass club Nicky Nicky's out hey do you want to play the Pokemon trading card game with me yeah there we go finally Okay, a single match and four prizes. Let's start. Speaking of Animal Crossing, that like I'm really like curious what they're gonna do with this one. I've got to imagine they're doing something really cool and unique with it because they've been taking like so many years on this game. Like this was announced back in the, the Wii U days, like a Wii U Animal Crossing, and 
It never got released, so I mean... It's all... It's such a mysterious thing, like, we know this game exists. They released its whole theme on the Wii U just for Animal Crossing, and then... And the game never came out, and we got Amiibo Festival instead, and... Apparently what we got it on 3DS, like that update, the Welcome Amiibo thing was like what might have been meant to be for, for like the Wii U Animal Crossing, which that is me just like even more curious because it's been like, what, I guess at least five to six years since New Leaf. You know they've got to have been working on like crazy hard then if we haven't had a new Animal Crossing game since then. Hopefully there'll be like some really, really innovative ideas. Uh, wait for them to waste their, their turn using that so that I don't, I don't have... The, oh, wait, never mind. What do we got here? We'll put another fighting energy. Still not going to die, though, unfortunately. Check. There's only one more to actually make it perfect. Or pack, anyway. But yeah. Looking forward to see if they do any innovations. Hopefully they will series has been too long. Animal Crossing should be good. The other run I was talking about earlier was Luigi's Mansion, so I mean, save that for just a little bit later and talk about that. Right now I'm just going to stay silent for a little bit, that's alright. There we go, Macho. That's more like it. Diglett, okay. Jinx, fair enough. Uh, it's taking a while. Damage check, heads 10 times, and times 10 damage. Okay, well that's not awful. It's a lot though, shit. 10 damage, I mean, I think it's 10 damage per attack. Should I use a submission? Probably not, but I mean, I might die anyway, so... I'm gonna heal, just to be safe. This is gonna be... Borderline suicidal, I mean, whatever, I'm taking my chance. One more hit and it would be dead, too. Oh well. Double slap. Okay, don't die, don't die. Please live. Alright, sweet, we're still in it. It's gonna die this turn, though, I just know it. Shit. You did good though, buddy. Let's check our thing. I'm gonna keep doing this because it's been so long and I'm forgetting. Actually, what am I doing? I can remember without even needing to do this that Charmander needs fire. I'm being s silly. Karate chop. There you go. What? Excuse me, what do you mean it didn't receive damage? It's gonna die, isn't it? <sighs> Fuck. Oh, sorry, Macho. I wish I had just bothered to do uh, the submission now, even though it would kill it. I mean, it would have been, been better than getting no damage at all. Alright, let's put Charmander in. And we can pick around it. So, yeah. Let's just talk about... Luigi's Mansion 3, I haven't been talking about it too much. I've been trying to, like, think of topics right now. Need one more energy. Do I even have another energy? Whatever. But yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3 looks, like, really good. That's one of the ones I'm really pumped for, because we actually have footage. I mean, we don't, I don't think we know when it's going to release, but... Uh, like, like what they showed uh, back at that direct, I guess it was 
what, September or something now? Dude, that looked really, really awesome. It's kind of a shame we haven't seen it in forever. Uh, that 20 damage isn't exactly looking great right now. I need more to work with. Growlithe. Yes, please. We got an Arcanine. We can use them to make a stronger Pokemon right now. Rapidash. Uh, do a Scratch Attack. Did I forget to put an Energy down? Shit. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3 looks good. I like how it's like so similar to Dark Moon. Hopefully it plays more like the original. It's one thing I really, really I liked about it is just the atmosphere in the original. That was like a really, really big thing for me. God, I'm playing stupid right now today. Ember. There we are. Fire energy, not bad, right when we need it to. Now we can sacrifice enough to kill this thing if we don't end up dying to this. But yeah, the ghosts look great. The graphics look really nice. I'm just worried that it's going to look too sim and look and play too similar to the way it things play. Aid out with F. Luigi's Mansion. And on 3DS, I mean, when I say that, I mean in Dark Moon, obviously, excuse me. I don't know, the gameplay in Dark Moon wasn't as good, in my opinion. It seems like it was kind of weak. That didn't, um, it wasn't bad gameplay. I guess it was pretty, it was overall alright. The whole exploring different mansions things didn't really catch my attention too much, and on top of that, the ghost designs were really, really lame compared to the first game. That's something that's hard to ignore is how edged. Uh, not... Uh, well, I don't know what the right word, wait, word this is. I guess it's the um, lackluster the uh, ghosts felt. Like, the portrait ghosts were filled with person... Uh, excuse me, I'm getting tripped over my own tongue, but... Yeah, the portrait ghosts are like filled with personality, and it's kind of uh, sad because I mean, and they were like really strong. They got rid of the, the portrait ghosts. This and two, so I'm hoping they're coming back in three. What are you talking about? Good level design. What? Talking about. Luigi's Mansion, uh, and I don't know, like, that, and the original, yeah, I agree, that one had good level design, but not the second game. There. Alright, there we go, it took a while. She told me she'd tell me where the leader is. And, Mom, do you deal with me? Wait a second. Did I just get baited here by this girl? Hold on, what the fuck is going on right now? I've already beaten three people. I guess they're gonna force me to rematch them, so in order to get to the leader, I'm gonna have to beat her one more time, probably. Alright, fine. You promised me you'd, you'd tell me where your leader is, not to bite you again. I'm gonna stop after this one. I was expecting to get further, because, yeah, it, this has just been a slow, slow. Yeah, no Pokemon, whatever, that sucks. Oh, my God, it's the second time it's happened on the stream, and it, I barely see it ever happen. Gee, I'm gonna stop. I've seen this happen once in my time I've ever played this game, and now I've done it again, where I get fucking uh, no Pokemon uh, out of my shuffle, like, at all. Actually ridiculous. 
the basic Grimon, the place in the arena. Growlithe, sweet. We got a really good startup, even if we didn't, like, get much. Doesn't look like we have a lot of Pokemon, but, like, we have enough energy cards to make a really, really fast and really, really strong evolution. I don't recall this being a problem in the original when I came back to this gym where I had to fight the Skrull twice just to get to the... It didn't fight the gym leader or the master, I mean. I guess it's because it didn't... I should have fought her last, but whatever. Oh, I'm not liking that. What do we got here? I don't even have a card search to, like, try to stop that from going full-on resist. Blair. I don't, can't even hit it yet. Shit. Alright, whatever, I'm just gonna not do anything. Hopefully she can't convert right away and she has to wait, because then I can actually finish it fast. Oh no, she's already got enough set up for it. I hate this girl so much right now. I mean, normally I don't really care about this stuff, but Christ, this is just a fucking stall deck filled with like like, ways to waste your time and make you have to sit here, or, like, bidding your time and figuring out anything to, like, like, prevent you from actually killing their Pokemon, not actually fighting back. Did not receive damage, how am I not shocked? That's what I was expecting, honestly. Ditto. Oh my god. Can I get another Pokemon, please, that's preferably different in typing? One more fire. That's not gonna help. This is a bad, bad way to start a match. I literally cannot fight this thing. I, I'm not getting any way to draw more Pokemon. Okay, there we go. That's better. I didn't have any way to harm it. The only problem is I don't have any grass energy, so Bulbasaur is useless too. Hey, Zachary, welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah, no fucking hand attacker with. What good is that gonna do me? Shit. Just give me a fucking... And, and two grass energy cards so I can put Bulbasaur in use, or give me something that I can actually work with. Well, there's one. I can't harm it, so what's the point in attacking it? I'm just wasting my time. Version 2. Oh my god, she's just spamming it. <sighs> we'll heal. What are we getting here again? Nothing? Alright, fine. Let's see, what else is there to talk about? Probably can... Put things away from games for just a little bit, I guess. Uh, there's... I've been watching more anime lately, actually. I don't really care to talk about that too much, but I mean... Another topic, I've been... And watching more of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys about that before on stream. It's really, really good. I've already seen, like... And, like, the first few seasons I'm watching... And the one's about part five, and if you don't know what JoJo is, it's like really, really long running series of different protagonists, and it's uh, and there's like eight parts currently. It's hard to explain if you watch it. It's uh, like it makes more sense. And each part has like a different theme to it, and I've been eagerly anticipating the next episode because they're going to be there's going to be a new opening in it soon. Really? You give me the evolution, but you don't give me any way to, like, prep the Ivysaur for attacking? Let me see for a sec. Oh, wait. Needs two grass to attack. What's Ivysaur need? You could do two colorless. Do a flattening. And it's evolved now. Finally. I've been watching a lot of good stuff. They got to, like, a really good 
Ed Point and JoJo, where they are just now like addressing the main villain. It's I don't want to spoil anything about it. Like I want to talk about it, but like this, it, basically all I can say is the guy's like completely paranoid. It's really really interesting talking about it would like give away too much of his character. Okay, let me see for it. What I got here? Fire fighting. We'll waste a fire. We've got enough of it. There we go. Retreat. Uh, I guess this. But yeah, it's good. I'd recommend watching JoJo if you guys have actually a not. Obviously, it doesn't matter. Sure, most of you guys have heard of One Punch Man. I know there's a season two coming up for that really soon. I'm like really, really excited about that, and I think it's gonna start next month. That was like one of the better anime, like what was it, 2017? I think maybe 2016. That was a really good show. I'm looking forward to watching that. But yeah, let's talk about some other shows. I've already went over JoJo. I'm just curious if you guys, if you guys watch anything, like what you, I'm curious what you guys are watching, but obviously not everyone cares for anime, and that's perfectly fine, I understand. Finally, we can evolve, and we don't have to worry about all these problems. See, I've been watching the Ace Attorney anime, for one, that's been pretty good. They're, it's just going over the games in the series. Right now it's going over the third game, Trials and Tribulations, and there's mostly just all the cases from that with like a new, new plot. I don't know if you can call them cases or whatever, there's like new, new parts added to like new episodes, like to expand the story a little bit, and those are pretty cool. And there's one other show I'm watching about, I'm watching right now, and it's actually a really, really old show. Yeah, I know about the Ace Attorney Collection. I was talking about the anime. I'm looking forward to, like, uh, actually playing through those again. I don't know if I'm going to buy the collection right away or not, though. But yeah. It looks good. Um, let me think. I was talking about something. I got distracted. All oh, right, I think I just finished the, talking about the Ace Attorney anime. That was, that's fun. I've been watching the Japanese dubs, or Japanese subs, I mean, because I haven't really cared too much. Itch. It's been enjoyable, to say the least. Like, they've done a pretty good job with what they've done already. I'm actually surprised they're, like, thinning the entirety of, like, the, the third game out into, like, 20-ish episodes. And... Like I said, there's one other show, like an older show I've been watching, too. It's called... It's the, actually, I'm not going to bother saying the real name. It's, it's, like, really long and not so easy to remember, so... Yeah. It's commonly known as Index. I don't remember. It started, like, a good ten years ago or something. I don't know. Maybe more. I found out about it a long time ago, and I watched it. It went on... And a hiatus that had like two seasons, the third season didn't happen, even though it had like a cliffhanger. Or for all now they're finally getting that third season up. I'm gonna talk about that more, but I kinda wanna focus on this for just a moment. Like it, it's a really, really good show, I'll say that much. I need one more on him. Put some more on him. Okay, just check what I can do here. Need another energy of any color. Fighting. There we go. But yeah, it's it's a show that I've never really seen done before. Because I had, I actually found it interesting. Basically, a you know how a lot of animes will have like their main protagonist actually have have like some special power or and actually be a like super unique or whatever. Well, this show is. It's almost like it makes fun of that, like, basically, a, all the, and like a whole bunch of the characters in the, in the series, they're, they, they all have powers, basically. Main character is a guy who has no power, at least. That's what they tell you at first, I'm, 
it's kind of complicated and a little, not so easy to explain, but it, basically it's a city where people uh, like develop their powers and whatnot, and the main protagonist doesn't have one. He's what's called a level zero in this uh, society, and this is a tough one to talk about. I want to talk about it and like explain it, so it's going to take a little bit, but basically it's like a leveling system where it's not actually like leveling I guess it's it's but they all have different abilities and every it's this is gonna get even more confusing to explain and basically that's all based on like science stuff and the city and and like really really weak abilities are rated like level one and then as you go on you get like level two which is slightly better level three in between then and it makes sense the others are. Four is moderately strong, and then five is over, like, the strongest in the city. And then you have what uh, the protagonist and most of the other characters are, which is classified as level zero, meaning they have no power and they aren't capable of developing a power. Oh, shit, what'd that say? I didn't read what it said. Shit. Give me a second. I think that said Ishihara or something. I, don't, I need to remember that because I do not want to battle her again just to see that information. If you guys have to rewind and do it. I don't care. Just, just help me out here for a second. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's it. I just want to make sure I knew what I'm doing. Um, You know, I, I would love to keep talking about this show and actually explain it more, but... I'm already... Is this the leader? Yeah, she is. Okay. I'm not gonna fight her right now. Unless it makes me do it. Actually, that's perfect, because then I can just save after this. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that, and I'd feel a little bad for cop and I have the middle of the explanation, but I've played a lot, and I'm tired. It's been an hour and a half, so let's just stop here for today. We'll resume this I don't know exactly when. I'm going to say next week. Tomorrow is going to be something different. Anyway, I'm done tonight. Hope you guys had a great time. It was a fun stream for me. And thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Bye, everyone. Take care.